Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Chua and this is Mr. Jackson and welcome to yin and restorative yoga and gentle movement. For this practice, grab whatever props you may have around like two yoga blocks, a strap, a rope if you don't have a strap, a pillow, maybe more than one pillow, and at least a blanket so that you can have things around you that you might use to support your body and postures to rest in. And let's begin sitting down. <clears throat> so those of you that are subscribed to our a Root to Rise Yoga newsletter, I sent today uh, an article that I wrote entitled Five Ways, Five Simple Ways to Start the New Year with Intention and Mindfulness. As we're transitioning in this last week of 2001, Saturday will be 2002. Whoa! Feels funny to say that. I just wanted to read one of those ways, highlighting number five, and it's create the space for what you invite. So whatever your intentions may be for the new year, does anything need to be decluttered or released in order to allow yourself to be open for what you're calling in? If you're choosing to focus on a healthy lifestyle, perhaps scan your home for any items that may not serve this intention. Consider donating them. Are there old beliefs that no longer serve your well being or the well being of your relationships? Consider ways to address them at their roots and finding resources and tools such as therapy or mindfulness meditations to help you move through areas where you may feel stuck or energetically blocked. We talked about yesterday in our Hatha yoga class, how the asanas are made to help us release stagnant energy to get our chakras open so that there's a balance of energy flow through those energy centers. So this number five on the list relates to the second limb of yoga, specifically the spiritual practice called saucha. We've talked about this way in the past, but just as a reminder, saucha is often translated as purity, cleanliness. It's having a practice that is regular to you that helps to cleanse anything that we absorb and help and makes us feel tense or stuck or clouded inability to truly unveil the fullest potential of what we are inherently sat nam in, in Sanskrit translates as true nature or true self. So as we begin to peel off perhaps layers of physical tension, as well as energetic um, tension, start to sense not only in the physical sensations, what, what starts to shift for you in this practice today. Notice what thoughts come up when we're opening certain parts of the body that may feel stuck. Are there thought patterns connected to stuck areas in the body? So this is also the practice of self-study, one of the limbs of yoga, and it's svadhyaya in Sanskrit. So we're constantly bringing this introspection into the physical practice. So let's begin. Find your comfortable seat, root down to your left and right sitting bones, maybe elevate the pelvis on a folded blanket if that helps, to sit up a little taller and feel a sense of stacking the crown energy center, third eye energy center, the throat energy center, the heart energy center, the solar plexus energy center, the sacral energy center, and the root energy center, like one straight line that is your spine without a sense of rigidity. So allow the shoulders to soften back and down, feel the back of your skull lift up, and there's these two opposing forces, this rooting down through the pelvis and this rising up through the center line of the spine. And then let your hands rest in your lap, maybe palms face down if you're needing to feel a sense of grounding, if it's been a busy day in your mind or externally, maybe palms face up. If you're feeling a bit lethargic and you need to just wake things up a little and feel more energized and perhaps bring the thumb and the first finger to touch. Maybe close your eyes and let's be still for a moment to assess what we bring into the practice. 
in these various layers of self. Starting with the outermost layer, notice your physical body. Take a mental scan from the bottom of your feet slowly to your crown. Notice what's there. And without altering the way that you're breathing, sense the quality of your breath naturally. And what information it gives you about your energetic being. And about your mental and emotional being. Acknowledge what you're paying most attention to right now. Acknowledge if the thoughts feel really busy in your mind or if there's some kind of calmness. No judgment. We're just observing what is. And as you take that in, perhaps bringing your palms to meet at your heart, choose what you'd like to focus on. Maybe there's one word that can encapsulate the quality of energy you'd like to embody in this practice or open yourself up to. One suggestion is saucha, purity. What does that mean for you? And as we prepare to chant three ohms together, let's start by taking a few cleansing exhales through the mouth inhales through the nose at your own pace taking deeper breaths in slower breaths out if you want to make a sound as you're breathing out that can also help to release any stuck energy in the body gently expand exhaling just as slowly through the nose maybe softly narrowing the back of your throat to create a gentle whispering sound this is the practice of ujjayi pranayama or victorious breathing technique use it to regulate your nervous system to a state of calm and to give your mind an anchoring sound that's rhythmic and steady to help you come back to the present moment, no matter how many times the mind and its natural urge may want to wander off. 
So listen to that sound rhythm you're creating and let's make our way down into child's pose. Setting your feet together at the rear of your mat, knees together or separated as wide apart as you need to, feel comfortable. Resting your forehead on the ground or on a prop or on your forearms. And if you're seeking a little more space in the lower back and the torso, you can stretch the arms actively forward, reaching the fingertips towards the front edge of your mat while pressing the shoulder blades down your back. And let's listen in to the quality of your breath now as you're breathing mindfully using ujjayi. Keeping that breath pace going on your next inhale, shift your pelvis to your left and start to rock forward onto hands and knees. Coming through center, exhale, shift your pelvis to the right and sink all the way back down into child's pose. Let's take lateral circles with a spine inhale to the left. Exhale to the right back to child's pose. Take a couple more at your own pace in this direction. And let your head just kind of be loose here. It can even hang and go with the momentum of your direction you're moving. Notice what your body is asking for in this motion. Let's go in the opposite direction. When you come back to child's pose, inhale, shift your pelvis to the right, rock forward to hands and knees. Exhale, shift your pelvis to the left, sink back into child's pose. Taking several more cycles in this direction. Finish this last circle. And we'll meet again in child's pose. Once there, reach your arms actively forward. Keep your heart, your head, your pelvis low to the ground. And then crawl your hands over to the right side as far as you can comfortably reach. You might step the hands on the outside of your mat, opening up the left side of your torso as you imagine breathing into it. You might even play with how it feels to step your left palm on top of your right palm. And let's take about four more full breaths here, stretching into the left wall of your rib cage, the left side of your lower back. And after this full exhalation, slowly walk your hands through center and let's switch over to the left side. See what range of reach is available. As you visualize breathing a little deeper into the right side of your torso. You might explore stepping your right palm on top of your left palm. Let's take four more deep breaths here. And then as you make your way back through center, let's rock forward onto hands and knees, parallel your shins, so they're hips width apart. Have your knees a couple inches behind your hips. Set your wrists on the ground right beneath your shoulders. And if you'd like to stretch your inner wrists here, go ahead and spin out the hands. So the fingertips begin to face the left and right edges of your mat, maybe even face your knees. And let's prepare with the breath 
to take a few rounds of cat cow or bidalasana. On your inhalation, glide your spine forward, peel your shoulders back, look up, coiling the chest open. And as you exhale, pull in the belly, drop your head, dome your back, tuck the tailbone under. Again, inhale, glide your chest through the arms, open them up, open your chest up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lift the belly in, round your back. Take maybe about five more. Feel the full range of entering each pose, the cat pose and the cow pose. Listen to your breath throughout that range. And then from here, let's sit back onto our shins. If your knees need a little support here, you can grab a block or a folded blanket or a pillow and place it right between your ankles, sitting on that prop. Otherwise, if it's comfortable, you could sit on your calves and sit on the floor right between your ankles. Point your toes back, press every toenail down into the ground and have your knees no wider apart than hips distance. So we're in hero's pose. Virasana. Add a little twisting motion here. As you inhale, reach your arms forward, interlace your fingers and flip your palms inside out. Exhaling, draw your shoulder blades down, lifting to your crown, seal your front ribs in. Take another deep breath, press up through the heels of your palms. Is this interesting, Jackson? And exhale, twist to your right side. Keep your pelvis rooted as you turn your chest. Stay here, inhale, press up through the heels of the palms, sit up a little taller, keep gliding the shoulders down your back. Continue on the side to exhale, bring the intention of twisting a little bit more. Two more breaths just like that, inhale, root down through the pelvis, press up through the heels of your palms. Exhale, keep turning the rib cage. One more breath like that. At the bottom of that exhalation, lower your right hand behind your pelvis on the ground, and then extend your left arm towards the outside of your right thigh. And if that's a bit too far to reach, causing rounding in the back, you can place your hand on your left thigh. Press into your thigh wherever that left hand lands, and then continue to twist another five deep breaths. And notice where you wanna gaze, whether it be over your right shoulder or just straight ahead towards your right wall or towards the front of your mat. Notice what your body is guiding you through its sensations. What's it asking for here? One more deep breath. Now on your next inhale, raise your arms overhead, unravel back to center, interlace the fingers, flip the palms inside out, exhale, stay here, facing forward, draw your shoulders down and seal your front ribs in towards your back. Take another deep breath, press down to your pelvis, lift up through each vertebra, through your crown. Exhale, twist to your left side. Inhale, root down through the pelvis, lift up through the center line of your torso. Exhale, keep turning your chest to the left side. A few more breaths of that. And at the bottom of this exhalation, lower your left hand to the ground behind your pelvis. Press the back of your right hand against your thigh, whether it be the outer left thigh or the inner right thigh. 
Choose the one that allows you to continue to lift your spine and keep your shoulders relaxed. Keep twisting here for five more deep breaths. Notice in which direction your body wants you to gaze, whether over your left shoulder, towards your left wall, or towards the front of your mat. One more deep breath. And as you exhale, unwind your spine. Let's place the right hand on your right knee. So you may want to adjust the way you're sitting here because we're going to stretch the top of your feet, the fronts of your ankles. Like for me, I'm sitting between the ankles. I'm going to sit on my calves instead for balance. And start to lift your right knee off the ground as you press your right toenails into the ground. Sit up tall, breathe. Two more breaths. Gently lower your right knee. Place your left hand on your left knee, right hand beside your right hip. Gently lift your left knee. Feel your facial muscles here. Feel your neck and shoulders here. Is anything reacting to this pose within your body, your breath, or your mind? Take one more deep breath. This is part of the practice of Svadhyaya, self-study, observing all those reactions. And now let's come on up slowly to stand at the top of your mat. Take your strap with you, and we'll begin to warm up the shoulders just a bit more through movement. So holding the strap between your hands, Place the strap in front of your thighs, separate your feet at least hips width apart, parallel, get an even grounding. And then keep your arms straight here, keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Hold the strap pretty taut so it's not hanging loose, but you're pulling to both ends. Wider apart than shoulders distance, separate your hands on the strap and you might have to adjust this distance in a moment. As we inhale, we'll raise the arms overhead and you'll notice if the shoulders start to rise up, that might mean widen the spacing between your palms. And then as you exhale, we'll bring the arms all the way behind you and down. Try to do this without bending the elbows and without lifting the shoulders. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, forward and down. Slow, conscious breaths. Inhale, up. Exhale, behind you and down. Let's go for about 10 more breaths. Keep going at your pace. Notice if you may need or want to adjust the spacing of your hands on the strap. you finish that 10th round let's go ahead and put the strap aside for now and standing at the top of your mat we'll flow through a slow sun salutation see just to get the whole body 
a little warmer and get the energy flowing throughout the energy centers. Now, as we step back, we'll have the hands on the outsides of the feet. Notice if that might be helpful to place blocks there instead to place your hands on. Starting in mountain pose, feet hips width apart and parallel. Turn your palms to face forward by your sides and spread your weight throughout the four corners of each foot. Spread your toes. Feel the lift up through the center of your body as you open your chest and relax your shoulders. Take a full breath here. Listen to the whisper at the back of your throat. On your next inhale, reach your arms forward, overhead, and coil your chest up. Maybe the palms meet. As you exhale, feel free to bend your knees and bow forward, placing your hands on the outsides of your feet. Inhale, step your left knee behind you to a kneeling lunge and look up. Exhale, step back to hands and knees, all fours. Inhale, bend the elbows back and lower your chin to the floor. Look forward, pause here. As you exhale, stick the tailbone up, pull the belly in, hug the elbows to your ribs. Next inhale, slide your chest, belly, and legs to the floor and take a baby cobra pose. Just lightly coil the chest up, look slightly down. Exhale, press up to hands and knees and tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Let's take a few breaths in downward dog if you'd like to pedal your feet out. That can help to loosen up the backs of your legs if there's any tightness there, as well as your lower back if there's any tightness there. You might like to softly shake and nod your head a few times, loosening up your neck as you lift the shoulders away from it. Spread your fingers flat on the ground and rotate your outer upper arms towards the ground to broaden across your shoulders. Let's take two more breaths here in downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step your left foot forward to the inside of your left hand and lower your right knee. Hands could be on blocks here as you look up. Exhale, step your right foot forward and bow at the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep your arms forward, rise all the way to stand and coil your chest up. Drop the shoulders back and look up. In exhale, bring your hands together at your heart and then by your sides, mountain pose. Second side, inhale, sweep your arms forward, drop your shoulders back and look up. Exhale, feel free to bend the knees as you bow, hands outside of your feet. Inhale, step the right knee behind you, kneeling lunge, look up. As you exhale, lower to hands and knees, all fours. Inhale, point the elbows back and lower your chin to the floor, sinking your chest, pull in the belly. As you exhale, stay here, stick up the tailbone, look forward. As you inhale, glide to the floor, the chest, the belly, the legs, and roll the shoulders back to cobra pose. As you exhale, pull up the hips, downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths, whether you want to shift around or be still this time. But focus on the steadiness of your breathing. On your next inhale, step your right foot forward beside your right thumb and lower your back knee as you look up. Exhale, step your left foot forward and bow at the top of your mats. Inhale, scoop your arms forward, rise to stand, dropping your shoulders back, maybe the palms meet as you look up. Exhale with hands in prayer, trace your thumbs down your energy centers, the seven main crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral roots. And pause here in mountain pose, palms facing forward. Feel the alignment of your spine. 
sense the stacking of your two shoulders over your two hips, your two hips over your two ankles. Feel energy flowing throughout your entire body, life force flowing throughout prana. The breath is also a vehicle to circulate prana. So keep the breath even, deep, and flowing. Start to make our way down to sitting, bringing your legs in front of you, extending the right leg forward. Take your left thigh and cross it over your right thigh so we'll be in a half cow face pose. Knees are stacking. You might find it useful to sit up on a folded blanket if your back starts to round. So you wanna have a tall spine instead. Take your strap and place it around the ball of your right foot. Flex your right foot against the strap as you pull the strap so it's a bit taut. Both hands. We're checking, Jackson. Draw your shoulders back and down, and then press the pelvis down as you breathe up the spine. So you're visualizing that. Up each vertebra, up to the back of the skull, up to the sternum. Now feel your throat naturally open. Feel your chest wide open. Keep both of those, and then start to lean forward as you breathe out. Pausing as you breathe in to feel the groundedness of your pelvis and to lift the spine from it. Exhaling, maybe bowing a little more. Take that with you for eight more cycles of breath here. Just bowing to the range where you're not beginning to close off energy at your throat center, your heart center. But instead, there's still the stacking of those energy centers or chakras. There's an openness a line of energy connecting them. This posture can help re relieve lower back pain, outer thigh pain, that might be caused by pinched sciatic nerve. On your next inhale, firm the belly in and begin to lift your chest to slowly lift your torso upright. Let's go ahead and remove the strap, extend both legs, roll your thighs inward and outward so your feet are like windshield wipers for a moment. Let the shoulders maybe shimmy out. Maybe the head wants to turn gently side to side. Take a few long exhales through the mouth here, in through the nose, out to the mouth, in through the nose, out to the mouth. And let's keep the left leg forward. Turn out your right thigh and cross it over your left thigh as much as you can. Take the strap and place it around the ball of your left foot. Flex your left foot into the strap as you pull the strap so there's some tautness. Draw your shoulders back and down and then press your pelvis downward and imagine breathing up your spine from the very bottom of it all the way to the top of your head. Sit up a little taller with each breath. Now sense the open space at your throat and wide across your collarbones. Keep those. And on your next exhale, begin to lean forward from your hips, pausing as you breathe in to feel the groundedness of your pelvis and to stretch your spine from it. Exhaling, maybe fold a little more. Keep going for eight more deep breaths. Ardha Gomukhasana is a Sanskrit name for this pose translates as half cow face pose. Feel the quality of space at your throat and at your heart space, chest.
And when you're ready, firm in the belly. With an inhale, lift your chest and then the rest of your spine. Nice, as you come on up. Let's find a comfortable seat, whether it's sitting on a block or crossing the legs. We're gonna focus a little bit more on the shoulders, like the rotator cuff area. So bending your elbows apart, cross your right elbow over your left elbow. Here, hook your thumbs or wrap your forearms and palms. And then let the shoulders move down as you press the pelvis down. Again, breathe up your spine by visualizing, restacking each vertebra from the bottom up like blocks. Lifting to your crown. Align your elbows to the height of your shoulders. And gently press your forearms forward away from your face. Here. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and glide your elbows to your left side. Sense any sensations as we breathe here. Let the head hang towards the right shoulder. Keep lifting the lower back, the lower spine. Two more breaths in this variation. Now begin to lift the top of your head, come back to your center with the elbows and the crown, and then we'll switch sides. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Glide your elbows to your right side, keeping them at the height of your shoulders as much as you can. Let your head be heavy, soften your neck, soften your jaw. Feeling into any sensations or more subtle movement of energy. Two more breaths here. Inhale, come back to center. In lifting your elbows a bit higher with a big exhalation through the mouth. Back, shook your arms. Ah. Roll out your wrists, maybe move your arms a moment, just any kind of free flow movement. Maybe even circle the head gently. What wants to move right now? Our bodies are constantly giving us information what it needs to rebalance. When anything is feeling stuck, notice where you might move mindfully and breathe into. All right, let's prepare for side two. Bend your elbows apart, and if you're crossing your legs, you may want to switch the cross of your legs just to even it out. Cross the left elbow over the right. Either hook your thumbs or wrap your forearms and palms. And as you sit up tall, press your shoulder blades down your back. Lift your elbows to the height of your shoulders and gently press your forearms away from your face. Jackson likes to be on camera. And when you're ready, take a few breaths here as you drop left ear towards left shoulder. Let the head hang loose there, sitting up tall through the lower spine. And then glide your elbows towards the right wall. Take a few breaths. Notice what may feel different or similar on this side. Sense what's here. Is there any resistance to dropping the head to the left side? Two more breaths here. Just 
slowly lift the crown of your head, realign your elbows down your center line. Sit up tall and gently drop the right ear towards your right shoulder. Let your head feel heavy as you soften your neck and jaw. Glide your elbows to your left side. And let's breathe and observe here. Does anything feel shifting in energy? Tingling anywhere, a sense of lightness or the opposite, a radiating sensation. Last two breaths. Slowly bring your elbows back to center. Lift the crown of your head. Take a deep inhale. Lift the elbows if you can a little bit higher. And with a big exhale through the mouth, back stroke your arms. Ha! And for maybe five more breaths, move any way that energy needs to move through your body, your physical vessel. Maybe through sound, maybe dropping the head, maybe drawing figure eights in the air with your nose tip. Ha! Maybe circling the torso or shaking. It's really helpful. Sort of rinsing. If you've been carrying a lot of tension in any way, mind, body, emotions, shaking can be very releasing as you see dogs do when they're releasing stress after fight or flight reaction. <laughs> Recognize this, Jackson? <laughs> and then we're gonna set up for a supported heart opener. Let's get your blocks. Let's get your pillow. So you can decide how you want to set up. I'll start with the mildest version of lifting the chest to the more pronounced version. The mildest version might be to set one block at the rear of your mat, lowest height, and to create an incline to lie back on with your pillow. So your pelvis is almost at the bottom of the pillow and you're lying back, turning the palms up, Displaying the arms open. Now, if you're not feeling much there, you can make that incline a little bit higher, where this might actually feel more supportive, like this. Now, if you want to feel more chest lift, you can put the pillow aside and take a block, tallest height for the back of your head, medium height across the mat, space the blocks apart so your pelvis stays on the floor. And as you lie back, you land the area that's right under the bottom tips of your shoulder blades onto the medium height block. So your shoulders roll off into the space between the blocks. The head is on the block. Now another variation of this is to turn the medium height block down the midline of the mat. And just make sure that the bottom edge of that block is not digging into any uncomfortable area of your back. You might have to slide it up a little higher so it's further up from the lower back, away from it. Now, if you're still needing more sensation, you can make the block that's behind your head lower, however low or no block at all as you want. So play with it. Take a moment to make the adjustment that suits what your body needs right now. And I'm actually going to set the timer for five minutes in this pose. So make sure that it's what your body needs and that you can feel comfortably supported. Now your legs can either be bent at the knees apart and the soles of your feet coming together, which is Supta Baddha Konasana, the pine bound angle pose. Or you could step your feet on the ground and do the opposite. Separate the feet on the ground wider than hips width and drop your knees together to touch. This offers the lower back a gentle stretch across. 
or you can extend the legs out and just let the feet flop apart like Shavasana, maybe placing a pillow across the mat right underneath the backs of your knees. So again, notice how your body is guiding you to the positioning. If something feels uncomfortable, any adjustment. Although sometimes when we've been carrying a lot of tension somewhere, there is this comfort before the release happens. So be aware of that. And once you've been able to place your body in stillness, perhaps close your eyes and let's practice box breathing here. Sama Vritti Pranayama in which we inhale through the nose for a count of four, hold the breath in for a count of four, exhale through the nose, a count of four, and hold the breath out, a count of four. This is a grounding breathing technique. It helps in moments of stress or anxiety, helps to calm the nervous system and bring presence within your body. So let's begin, empty this breath, Hold it out, relax the body completely. Inhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Hold it in for four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, four, three, two, one. Inhale a little slower, four, three, two, one. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale for. Hold for. Exhale four. Hold four. Continue on your own at least two more cycles of box breathing. As you feel ready, let go of that breathing technique and allow your breath to flow naturally. Feel the transition from controlling your breath to just being aware of it. And just letting it flow. Notice any effects of that pranayama, samavriti. As you continue to let your body breathe naturally, Begin to rub the thumbs across your fingertips. We ease into small movements, no rush. That gentle feeling of effortlessness. And then as you place your hands down by your sides, if the knees are bent apart, you might use your hands to slowly lift your thighs, lift your knees, set your feet on the ground. And then find your own route of least resistance to slowly come on up to sit. 
And once you're up to sit, let's prepare for a seated forward fold with the legs extended forward. Now for this version, I invite you to do a more relaxed variation. We're not trying to get really our full edge of the forward fold, but we're resting into the forward fold. So you may want to place a pillow between your legs, have the feet a little wider apart than hips distance. You might want to make an incline out of that pillow with two blocks underneath the end of the pillow that's furthest away from your pelvis. Or you might want to set up your blocks like a tower. Maybe there's a blanket underneath your belly when you fold. And then make sure that your sitting bones are grounded. You might move the flesh aside. Lift up the rib cage. Feel the openness of your torso, the full length of your spine, and try not to compromise that so much. The back can round a little bit, but notice that it's not causing you to close up or the breath to become really shallow. And then let's fold in here. We're only gonna be here for about two minutes. You might use a blanket for underneath your forehead. And I'll set the timer. So now, just breathing naturally, allowing your body to feel held and supported by the breath that just comes and goes. You don't have to do anything about it. No rush to start shifting around. Just become aware of your breath again. In case the attention has wandered. And then press your hands down onto the floor. Let your head be heavy as you slowly lift your torso upright. Taking your time, begin to set your body up for your final resting pose, corpse pose, Shavasana. Using any of your props that you might want to support your body as you lie down. Maybe you simply splay out your arms and legs and lie flat on your back. I'll be playing the singing bowls, so if you want to turn up the sound on your device, it might help to hear my voice and the bowls better. If you have something to cover your eyes with, a gentle eye pillow, a towel that might be helpful to help tune inward. This is one of the limbs of yoga, pratyahara. Turning our attention inward. We'll begin with a brief guided relaxation. So as you're settling into your 
comfortable resting pose, Shavasana. Let's take a deep inhalation. Feel where that breath travels in your physical body. And then through the lips, slowly empty the breath. One more time, inhaling through the nose, gentle expansion as though you could breathe into your entire body. And as though you're blowing a candle from afar, empty the breath through the lips. And then again, allow your breath to flow naturally. Feel the surface supporting your body from underneath. Allow your skull to be heavy as you relax your neck, your jaw, your face. Allow your left and right shoulders to be heavy as you soften your upper spine Soften your chest and upper belly. Soften your mid-back. Sense the weight of your left arm as you relax your left hand, softening down to your left fingertips. Sense the weight of your right arm, the bones in it, as you soften all the way down to your right palm, down to your right fingertips. Feel a sense of melting at your pelvis as the belly relaxes. Your left and right hips, the bones sink a little deeper into the earth below. This feeling of surrender travel down your left leg as you feel the bones become the heavier by relaxing the muscles around them. All the way down to your left ankle. As you soften the left foot, feel the soul relax. Sense the weight of your right leg all the bones sinking a little easier towards the ground. Relaxing all the muscles in your right leg. Feeling your right foot, your right sole soften too. Nowhere else to be, nothing else to do but relax and be here now.
before beginning to move your body in any way, observe what feels alive in you right now. Sense your physical body. Notice any difference you might feel from the beginning of this practice. As you observe your natural pace of breathing, feel into your energetic state. Notice your mental and emotional state. And gently moving your hands, moving your feet, ease into a simple stretch to slowly awaken your body from stillness. No rush to get anywhere. You're already here in each moment that you're aware of it. Gradually in your own way, maybe turning over to your right side, find your way up into a comfortable seat. Preparing to sit for five minutes in silence for meditation. Set your hands in any mudra that offers you focus, groundedness, and relaxation. Close your eyes or set a steady gaze on a spot just ahead your spine can be upright and the shoulders relaxed. I'll set the timer for five minutes. And as we sit in silence, I invite you to continue returning to the seat of witness, knowing that the nature of the mind is to start following a thought into a storyline into the past or into the future Notice when that happens and remember, come back. You're here now, just observing. Five minutes begins now.
gently bring your attention to your physical body, to what you sense in your external environment. And let's sit up tall, join the palms to meet at your heart, closing this practice together, integrating the practice of saucha, purity, cleanliness. So as you might be wrapping up 2021 with reflections, how are you going to create space for what you want to call in in 2022? Let's prepare for three ohms. Empty this breath. Take a deep inhalation for the first. the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.